So the slew is nothing but rate of change of transition of a signal. So when the signal transitions from low to high or high to low, the rate at which it, the transition happens is called nothing but the slew. So here we are going to see the slew for the clock signal and we will call it as a clock slew, also called the transition time. So if you see here, this is our ideal clock. There is nothing like ideal in the practical design. So there will be some rising time and there will be some falling time. So the rising time, so the rising rate at which the clock signal transition from low to high here is nothing but called the rising slew. And here when it transitions from high to low is nothing but falling slew. So in ideal mode, this is our ideal clock, but this is our propagated mode or you can say it as a practical uh, in, in the practical scenario. So in ideal mode, when we are doing the static timing analysis in ideal mode, in that case, the clock slew we have to model so that it can be read by the STA tool to perform the timing analysis. But in propagated mode, when we have our buffers and everything inserted into the designs, we do not have to model any such information and the ST tool will automatically calculate it after the clock buffers are inserted to the design during play center. So this is the clock slew, this is the slew property of a clock signal. Hope this is clear.